The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. Good day everyone, Ian here. Uh, wala mo na ako sobrero ngayon because I've been trying to take a break where, here with whatever is happening with the world. But recently I've been reading all about rape as triggered by a statement by one of the Tulfo brothers, specifically Ben and the subsequent call-out of the mega-daughter, Frankie Pangilinan. On a side note, uh, ano bang nangyayari sa mga tito mo, Maricel? <laughs> I mean, your dad is a good, uh, your dad is a good uh, broadcaster, sabihin na natin, public servant broadcaster, but his brothers, oh my goodness. Oh boy. <laughs> That's a story for another day, pero... Doon nagsimula lahat yun. Now, before I proceed further, four things. One, rape is rape, full stop. Two, rape is not exclusive to women alone as men are also abused. Three, this is basically my own perspective about rape culture and how it screwed up society, our society for 60 years now. And finally, four, this video is a complimentary commentary to the op-ed made by the Facebook page uh, Seminarian's Musings managed and maintained by an anonymous seminarian from Davao. Well, I personally know the guy but for the sake of his vocation and, sa and safety rather, uh, I'm just addressing him as the seminarian in this video. Okay, so I'm going to read the the op-ed from Seminarian's Musings. Pero, uh, bago ko pasahin to, uh, aminin natin lahat, we've been victimized for some, with some, at some point in this kind of topic kasi, ayun nga, uh, aside from talk, uh, talks like this, eh, implicitly, may mga nagagawa din tayo na, uh, hindi natin alam eh uh, ganun na din parang it's propagating the, the oversexed culture so here's the here's the piece the problem with purely blaming either the victim or the rapist is wrong they are both unfortunate victims of the real problem an oversexed culture Rape culture is not the root but a branch of an expected reaction to an oversexed and sexually driven culture. Since we glorify sex so much, it has become a commodity that everyone is looking for. And as with all commodities, if they cannot pro procure them by normal means, then force is used by those unfortunate victims of an oversexed mentality. Sex is used to allure, sell, promote, and promote everything and anything by corporations, media institutions, etc. Want to pr promote food and drink? You can do it by putting two beast models on the commercial. Want boys to play an online game? Have girls of the Sando gang post live streams of them playing games. A side note, <laughs> yun din ang isa sa mga tiyatakal din ni Paulul, so... Yeah, you, 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 I mean, I guess you get the point. Want to have good ratings on TV? Show teleseries and films with hot and steamy sex scenes. Want to make an app popular? Insert sexy dancers with sexy music. We're not even mentioning pornography and prostitution yet, but hey, you get the picture already of how oversaturated the, uh, is our culture with sex. Now the seminarian continues, by dwelling not on things that are noble, good, and true, we simply allow our base desires and primal instincts to grow and make us into animals. And in turning us into animals, we allow other people to ex easily exploit us by simply plugging sex with anything. 
We can't teach well fasting and abstinence for someone who is always hungry. Can you teach respect and decency for one who is literally bombarded with sex? Earlier generations of humanity learned well that the unbridled desire of humans for sexual pleasure, power, and possessions will eventually destroy their civilization. Want to destroy rape culture? Start dismantling an oversexed culture. Don't share memes and videos with even a minimal sexual ov overtone. Avoid watching pornography even if it is hidden under the film genres of romance and action. Be modest and pure in speech, thought, action, and even clothing. Learn how to fast from food and from needless pleasures such as binge-watching films and useless internet surfing. Be busy in worthwhile endeavors and engage yourselves in healthy relationships with others. Guarding your thoughts and actions. Share to people the dangers of an oversexed culture and how they can control their urges in whatever aspect. Above all, the seminary concludes, This is where the wisdom of the church shines in terms of sexual morality. Call her old-fashioned, out of touch, outdated, whatever adjective there is, we don't care. And these days, the truths regarding human sexuality and dignity are being rediscovered in a sad way by those who are already sorely beaten and have to find a way out. We don't need to be drowned and beaten by the culture to learn and realize that her teachings are not prison bars, but guides towards true freedom. Quite honestly, medyo tinamaan din ako. Uh, initial thoughts, tinamaan din ako. Kasi, as I said, wala nang, ayun to to, wag na tayong maglokohan, wag na tayong magbalinis. A lot of us are uh, doing one or one or uh, at least one of the things that uh, the seminarian is trying to uh, say here so let us try our best actually to uh, if not uh, try to try our best to somehow um, make our time worthwhile and uh, let us just binge watching Tsaka, panood, panood ng porn. Kasi, aminin ko na medyo in the past talagang sobra-sobra ang ano ko, obsession ko. Sa ngayon, uh, nandun pa rin, nandun pa rin, but it's not as, ano, it's not as prevalent as before. Uh, and somehow the consequences of uh, Doing all these things, the seminarian has uh, uh, has shared uh, to everyone uh, has its consequences, uh, lalo lalo na in the mental aspect. So talagang kaya siguro kaya ganto ang ano kaya ganto yung uh, sinasabi ko or yung uh, sinishare ko sa ano sa YouTube niya. So Yun lang, uh, that's just the unscripted part of the uh, <laughs> of the initial thoughts or initial commentaries for uh, this piece. While I commend the seminarian for calling out the root cause of all all the sexual bullshit we're experiencing right now, it fell short from naming Alfred Kinsey, an American biologist and the father of sexology as a discipline. In short, Kinsey is the father of the sexual revolution that turned some of the war veterans of the greatest generation and the lost generation and their offsprings, the often despised boomers, as thirsty sex freaks experimenting their own definition of love and family and everything in between. While Mar Margaret Sanger opened the floodgates by proposing eugenics, Kinsey made it all worse. And what's even worse is that Alfred Kinsey also included the input of a Nazi officer commanding the garrison in Auschwitz in his research. Just think about the Holocaust. If the systematic killings are already abysmal in its own, it is doubly abhorring, even triply, that Jewish children are being molested before being sent to their certain death. 
Below in the description as well is a video about what seems to be the dark side of Kinseyan sexology and how he got how Kinsey godfathered the sexual revolution he has envisioned. In short, and bring it closer to home, I'm wondering if Daryl Yap researched on Alfred Kinsey and was implicitly inspired to make Vince sentiments as a platform to share his rather distasteful thoughts on stories and content provoking single parents, altar servers, and probably with a proposed story about incest, parents in general. It is also worth noting that Kinsey was either accused of being a pedophile or included inputs from confessed pedophiles among his many experiment subjects, contacts, and collaborators, including the Nazi monster who molested Jewish kids in Auschwitz, and remained unapologetic about it until his death. So, go figure. But, at the end of it all, I digress. Now, with all that said, this is Ian reminding you that at all times, be the salt of the earth, and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, and see you next time, hopefully in August. Bye guys. Hi, Post Prodian here. Uh, one thing update lang uh, before I end the video. So normally, you might notice that uh, I have, I am in a uh, I'm sitting uh, in front of a computer and yes I am all I'm, I'm always sitting on my computer uh pag record ako ng video and uh, basically uh, ito ang aking uh, idiot board so nakikita niyo diyan yung mga <laughs> mga scripts ko may ano may uh, article version na niyan uh, later once I've once I've done this, um, once I've done this video or this uh, short video, and then napapansin niyo uh, yun yung thumbnail para sa ano, sa uh, episode or sa video na to. Basically, thanks to uh, Photoshop. And uh, actually, ka ano, just this week in eh, ano ako, <laughs> uh, for some reason in kailangan ko rin na subukan ng uh, gumo er subukan iyan ano to gawin yung mga videos ko editing with uh, Adobe Premiere so I somehow downloaded a previous version I think this is 2015 so uh, okay naman kahit pa paano okay naman siya and uh, I hope that uh, in the future eh dito na ako lagi mag-edit para hindi na ako masyadong nakatepende sa cellphone kasi aminin ko cellphone lang din ako ilang gagamit ko sa pag-edit ko so yun lang naman ang ano ko share ko sa inyo ah, this is the end.